this time auto expo is quite unique in the sense that uh, there is a lot of focus that you can see very evidently on alternate fuel technology uh, there is a complete pavilion on uh, uh, ethanol uh, there are a lot of electric vehicle manufacturers electric vehicle uh, service providers charging station uh, manufacturers uh, so th th the focus is on alternate fuels and uh, this makes uh, it very interesting for ASDC as well because we ourselves also from a skilling perspective and a reskilling perspective are looking at uh, alternate fuel technology related uh, skilling opportunities we are already doing a number of different projects on electric vehicle uh, technicians charging station operators uh, battery uh, uh, management system uh, engineers uh, etc and uh, we are also looking at uh, curriculum around uh, uh, ethanol uh, which is the flex fuel based engines uh, the skills required to look at design and testing of such engines so these are uh, priority areas for us as well whatever you see as an output of this uh, uh, in this auto expo is all because of the skills of people who have been engaged in making those products available products and services available so for products and services to be made available we need skilled manpower and therefore asdc as the apex body for uh, skilling initiatives for the automotive sector working under the ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship is part of the skill india mission uh, is absolutely critical element in order to make this happen. So we are uh, uh, this time focusing on uh, adoption of technology in uh, skill training, uh, including uh, virtual reality based modules related to automotive systems. We are also showcasing some of the work that we have done on the alternate fuel technologies in electric vehicles and therefore uh, will be interested and work with other partners uh, who would be interested in getting their people reskilled or are looking for skilled manpower for their operations in the upcoming financial year uh, we expect to uh, train more than uh, 100000 students we expect definitely around 25 to 30% of these students coming in from what we call as future technologies which include alternate fuel technologies, industry 4.0 application areas, etc. And we are, we are expecting to strengthen our relationship with various industry partners, OEMs, component manufacturers and dealerships to get integrated into the skilling ecosystem to make the Skill India mission a very successful mission in this country. So, greening uh, is in terms of skilling. Ek hai, Jo green naya technology are right, like electric vehicles etc we are also working on greening of existing technology we are working on a curriculum for greening of foundries foundries are older technology but today there is a focus on greening of that industry also and we are looking at what is the skill uh, impact of that and what would be the curriculum and the content of training for preparing candidates who will be able to operate in let's say green foundries this is just an example we have uh, always looked at uh, the budget as one um, instrument which gives us the broader direction i think from a skilling ecosystem perspective i think there will be uh, there will probably be even more support for the apprenticeship program which has been uh, continued over the past few budgets uh, there will be more focus on uh, international placements of skilled manpower for India which is also been a focus of the current government uh, for quite some time now and uh, we are seeing a lot of work and this year being uh, India being the leader for G20 we do see significant skill agenda uh, for global recognition and adoption of Indian skill certification uh, uh, could be given a push uh, through various budget initiatives.